Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, we'll be designing five examples of editorial style section layouts created with Divi. So this is the final design that we're aiming for. So as you can see, we have all our different sections here. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. So I'm going to start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Now, when it comes to these pages, you can name your page whatever you want. So I'm just going to call this page ESS, click on use the Divi Builder, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on use Visual Builder. So let's start off by adding our columns. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, and the columns we need here are going to be these three columns. So I'm going to select them. So for now, let's close this and let's go to the row settings because we need to start adding our background colors. So I'm going to click on background and then I'm going to come over here to my gradient because we're going to have a gradient background. Click on the plus button and add my first color. Now, if you want to use the same colors as I'm using in today's tutorial, you can head over to our post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. OK, so that's my first color. Now I'm going to add my second color. So this time, this color is going to have transparency. So I'm going to paste my value within the brackets like that. OK, so we're going to come over here to our gradient type and this needs to be set to radial. And then here it's fine at uh, 0%, but our end position needs to be set at 47% like that. Now let's add a background color on column two. So I'm going to scroll down here until I get to column two, click this plus button, and I'm going to paste my color in here like that. Right, so what we need to do next is to come over here to design and set our custom width. So I'm going to click on sizing, and then I'm going to click on use custom width. So this is where you get to adjust your width and make it as uh, the specific size that you want. So here I'm going to come over here to unit and set it to 100%. Next, I'm going to come over here to gutter width and set this to 1, like that. Next, I'm going to come over here to spacing and set our column to padding. So here is going to be 50 pixels throughout the sides. So I'm just going to paste it in here just to give this a bit of breathing space, like that. Okay, so now we're done here. I'm going to click on save and then I am going to come to the first column here and add our image. So I'm going to click this plus button and I'm going to search for my image module and I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to upload my image. So this is the image that I need. I'm going to select it. Now, if you don't have your image in your image library, what you have to do is to click on upload files and navigate uh, around your folders and find that image and upload it to the media library. So here, now that I've selected it, I'm going to come over here and click upload an image. Next, I'm going to come over here to background and then I'm going to add my, my gradient. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add my first color. Now this color is going to have transparency, so I'm just going to drag this slider down so I can get my settings for, transpar for my transparency. And then I'm going to paste my values in here. Click on my second color. I'm going to paste my color in here like that. And then here we need a linear gradient, which is fine. And then here our start position and our end position needs to be set at 60% like that. And then finally, our gradient direction needs to be set at 107. In fact, I'll use the slider for this. Like that. So now you can see we've just added this style to the background. Next, we need to go into the design tab and align our image to the left. So I'm going to click on design, click on alignment, and then I'm going to make sure that this is aligned left. Now let's add our margin top. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. And for our margin top, I'm going to add 100, like that. And then I'm going to click this little icon here to set our margins for our mobile and tablet devices. So I'm going to click here. And for our tablet, I'm going to make sure this is set to 0. And also for the smartphone, it needs to be set to 0, like that. Okay, so I'm back here on my desktop. Next, I'm going to come over here to padding and I'm going to make sure that we have padding 20 for the top and padding 20 for the bottom. So now we can see that as soon as we've added that padding, our shape is now showing in the background. OK, so we're done setting up our image settings. So I'm going to click on save. Next, we need to add a text module. So I'm going to click this plus button here to the middle column to the middle column and um, search for our, our text module like that. I'm going to select it, 
And straight away, I'm gonna paste my text in here. And this is just normal dummy text, which is lorem ipsum. And then I'm gonna come over here to design, click on text, and then we need to make sure the alignment is set to centered like that. For our text size, we're gonna set this to 12. And the color for our text to make it really stand out, we're gonna make this black. So I'm gonna select my black from here. And now we can see that it's looking much, much better. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to adjust the width of this text module. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to sizing. And then I'm going to drag this and set it to 84%. Like that. And then just make sure that this is centered. So now we've just added some breathing space around here, around this text. Finally, we need to add some margins to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to click on spacing. And then for the margin top, I'm going to set this to 50. And then for the margin bottom, I'm going to set this to 50 as well. Okay, so for now, we're going to save. And then we're going to come over here and add our third image module. So I'm going to click this plus button here. Search for my image module. Select it. And then over here, I'm just going to click on upload and select my image. Click on upload an image. And now my image has been added. Next, we're going to come over here to background and add our style to our background. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to my second tab and click this plus button to add our gradient. I'm going to click this button here to add my first color. I'm going to paste it in here. Click on my second color. I'm going to add my values here in the middle like that. Right, so making sure our gradient type is set to linear. We're going to come over here to our start position and set this to 40% and end position to 40%. And then here for our gradient direction, we're going to set this to 73. So you can see here as I'm moving this slider, we are now adjusting our shape. So we need to bring it down to about 73 like that. Right. So next, let's go to the design tab and align our image. So I'm going to click on alignment. And here it's already aligned to the left and this is exactly what we need to do. And also you need to make sure that always align image on mobile is selected to yes. So right now we can't see the shape that we've just created here in the background. So in order for us to see it, we need to come over here to spacing and add a custom margin of 300 to the top like that. And then we're going to add some padding. So we're going to add 20 to the top like that and 20 to the bottom. And now we can see that our shape is now showing. So this is our final design. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just save this. Okay, so that's our first example. So let's move on to the next example. So I'm going to come over here and uh, add a new section. I'm going to click this plus button here. Click on regular. So here we're going to add a two column row. So I'm going to select it here. I'm going to close this for now. And then I'm going to come over here into my row settings. Click on background and for our background too, we're going to add our color. So I'm going to click this plus button here and add my color. I'm going to paste it like that. So next, let's go into design and adjust our sizing. So I'm going to come over here to sizing. We're going to make, we're going to use a custom width and we're going to set this to 100% like that. And then for the gutter width, we're going to set this to one like that. Right. For now, let's go ahead and save. And then we're going to add our first module. So in this first column here, we're going to add our image module. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to search for it. And then I'm going to click on upload. Select my image. Upload an image. And then we're going to come over here to design. Click on alignment and make sure that this is aligned to the left and always center image on mobile is also set to yes. Now for our margins, we need to go into spacing and for the margin top, we're going to add 100 pixels. And then for the custom padding top and bottom, we're going to set this to zero and zero to the bottom. So here I'm going to come to this little icon here to adjust my uh, margins for the tablet. So here in the tablet, we're going to set this to zero to the top. And for the smartphone, again, we're going to set that to zero like that. And then click back to the desktop. Okay, so let's save for now. And then let's add our second module, which is the text module. So I'm going to click this plus button here. Search for my text module like that. Select it. And then I'm going to paste my dummy text in here 
like that. Next, I'm gonna go, come over here to design and we need to customize our text. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to set our text color to black and then our size to 12. And then over here, we're gonna make sure that our font is set to Lato, like that. Right, so here we're gonna make sure that it's centered. And for our line height, we're gonna set this to 2.2, like that. Now we can see that our text is pretty much close to the sides of our area here. So to fix that, we need to go come over here to sizing. And then we're going to make sure that this width is set to about 80% or even 75%. Let's try 75. Okay, so right now, in fact, we need to make sure that you enter 75% like that. Now you can see that all this text is all to the left side here by default. So to fix that, you just need to click this little button here to center everything. So finally, let's fix the margin. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. For the margin top, I'm going to set this to 120. So now we can see we've just added some space above right here in this text area. But uh, if we come over here to this little tab and uh, click on tablet, we can see that our space is a bit too much. So I am going to add a minus 80 here for the margin. And that's going to be the same for the smartphone. So back over here to my desktop. For our left margin, I'm going to set this to 240 and then add some padding. So for this to work, we're going to add 50 all around. So I'm going to paste 50 to the top right, bottom, and left. So now we have breathing space around this text, which is good. So before I forget, I need to add my background color. So I'm gonna come over here to content, click on background, click the plus button to add my background color. And I am going to paste it within the brackets like that. Now this may look different to your layout because I'm using a large screen, so ideally this uh, text module here is supposed to be around here next to this image. But you just need to go and adjust your spacing or your margins. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so now it's time to add our third example. So I'm going to come over here and click on this plus button to add our regular section. So I'm going to click here. Right, so we are going to need two columns here. So I'm going to select my two columns. For now, I'm going to close this and then I'm going to go into my row settings. Right, so here I'm going to click on a background and for column one background, we need to add our color. So I'm going to click this plus button and paste my color like that. Next, we're going to come over here to our column two background, but this time we're going to add a linear gradient. So I'm going to click this plus button here, click my first color. I'm going to paste it in here like that. Click on my second tab to add my second color. This time it's going to be an RGBA value. I'm going to paste it in here like that. So making sure that our gradient type is set to linear, I'm going to come over here to my gradient direction and set this to 147. And then for my start position, I'm going to set this to 25. And my end position, I'm going to set this to 9. Next, I'm going to come over here to design and make some adjustments to our row. So I'm going to click on sizing and click on use custom width. Set this to 100% like that. And then for our gutter width, I'm going to make sure that this is set to 1. Lastly, let's add some padding to column 1. So I'm going to click on spacing. So for our column 1 padding, I'm going to add 70 to the top and 70 to the bottom. So now as I've just entered my padding, you can see now that our shape is now showing here on our display. Okay, so for now, let's go ahead and save and I'm gonna add my first module and this is gonna be an image module. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, search for my image module, select it. And then I'm gonna click on upload and then I'm gonna select my image and click upload an image. Next, I'm gonna come over here to design, click on alignment. And the reason why I come here is just to make sure that everything is aligned properly. So this needs to be aligned to the left and always center image on mobile needs to be set to yes. So next, I'm gonna add a custom margin to the left. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing. And for our custom margin, I'm gonna set it to minus 300. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. And now it's time to add our text module. So I'm gonna click this plus button here search for my text module 
select it. And I'm going to start off by adding a background color. So I'm going to click this plus button here and paste my color like that. Next, I'm going to click on text and we're going to add our text in here. So I'm going to paste my text. Next, I'm going to come over here to my design, click on text, making sure that my text is set to white because right now it's not really visible on our dark gray background. So I'm going to click this text color, set this to white. And then here, I'm going to set my size to 12. And then my font needs to be set to Leto. And it's already selected here. So I'm going to select it. And our size here is going to be 12 pixels, like that. Next, we're going to come over here to our line height and set this to 2.2. And we're going to make sure the text orientation is set to centered. Now, let's set our width for our text module. So I'm going to come over here to sizing. And we're going to set this to 75%, like that. So sometimes it just defaults to pixels. So you just have to make sure you type it in this area here. Otherwise, you won't get the desired, the desired outcome. So now you can see that it's set to 75%, which is exactly what we need. And make sure that it's set to centered as well. Now it's time to add our margin. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add my margin top as 130. And for my margin left, I'm going to set this to minus 180. And then here for the padding, I'm going to add 50 to the top right, bottom, and left, just to give this a bit of breathing space. Okay, so this is how we should look with our negative margin here. So what we've done here is, is we've moved this text module more to the left, and it is overlapped with this image. Okay, so now we can go ahead and save. Okay, so now it's time to add our fourth example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this plus button to add our new section. Click on regular, and we're going to choose these two columns. So for now, I'm going to close this and we're going to go into our row settings. We're going to go into design, click on sizing, use custom width. We're going to say yes, and we're going to set this to 60% like that. And we're going to adjust our gutter settings and set this to one. Now it's time to add our first image module. So let's go ahead and save here. And then I'm going to click this plus button to add our image module. So first of all, I'm going to search for it, and then I'm going to add it. So I'm going to click Upload, select my image, and then click on Upload an Image. So now we can see it's added. I'm going to come over here to Design, Alignment. I'm going to align this to the right, and then making sure Always Center Image on Mobile is set to Yes. I'm going to come over here to Sizing and adjust our width. So here I'm going to set this to 89, like that, and then I'm going to align this to the right. So we want this module to only be visible on our desktop. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to advanced, click on visibility and disable phone and tablet. Okay, now we're going to save this and we're going to add our second image. So I'm going to click this plus button here, search for my image module, select it, upload my image. And this is the image that I'll be using. I'm going to click upload an image and then I'm going to click on design alignment and we're going to align this to the right so for this we're going to we're going to add a border so we're going to come over here to border use border we're going to set this to yes our color is going to be white and then here it's going to be about five pixels so we can just barely see it like that and also for the border style we're going to make sure that it's solid and as we did before we're going to disable this on our tablet and smartphone so i'm going to come over here to advanced click on visibility and then i'm going to disable it like that Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and save. Now I'm going to add my second image just below this, this one here on the right. So I'm going to click on this plus button, add my image module, select it. And then I'm going to come over here and select my image, click on upload an image. And then I'm going to go come over here to design, click on alignment. And I'm going to make sure it's aligned to the left. And also center image on mobile is set to yes. Right, so for this, we're also going to use a border. So I'm going to come over here to border, activate it. And this is going to be four pixels like that. And we're going to make sure that it's solid. Now let's go to sizing and set this to 89%. So again, I'm going to type it in here like that. And we are going to align this to the left. 
And then finally, for the, dis for the visibility, again, we're going to disable this for the phone and tablet. So next, go ahead and add your fourth image, and then we're going to add another row. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save. Okay, so now it's time to add our new row. So I'm going to come over here and click Add New Row. We're going to need a single column like that. And this is going to be a text module. Select text. I'm going to paste my text in here like that. And then I'm going to come over here to design. So here I'm going to go over here to the text, make sure that my text is set to black. So I'm going to come over here, text color, set that to black. Our size needs to be set at 12. And our line height needs to be set at 2.2 like that. Next, we're going to make sure our text orientation is set to centered. Now I'm going to add my background color. So I'm going to come over here to content, click on background, and I'm going to click this plus button. And our text is going to have some transparency. So I'm going to paste my value between the brackets like that. Okay, so this is a bit too wide. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on sizing. I want to set this to 75% like that. And then I'm going to make sure that this is centered. So before I go in and add my um, margins, I'm just going to save and I'm going to set my, my row to the right size. So I'm going to click on row settings, click on design, sizing. I'm going to click on use custom width and I'm going to set this to 581 pixels like that. Okay. So that's all I need to do here. I'm going to save and then I'm going to go back into my text module and then click on design and spacing. So now it's time to add our margins and our padding. So our margin top is minus 580 like that. Margin left is minus 180. And then I'm going to add my padding top of 50, 50 to the right, bottom and left. Okay, so this is how the section should look. Okay, so now it's time to add our final example. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button. This time, this is going to be a full width. So I'm going to click on full width and we're going to come over here and select full width image. So the image we're going to use is already in our media library. So I'm going to click upload and this is the image that we're going to use. Click on upload an image. So here you can see now that our image has been applied to our section. So for now, I'm just going to save and we need to add one more section. So I'm going to click this plus button here. This time, this is going to be a regular section and we're going to need three columns. So next, let's go into the row settings and start adding our colors to our column background. So I'm going to click this row settings icon, click on background. So I'm going to start off with column one, add my background color like that. Come over here to column two, add my color. Let's go ahead and add our third one. Click the plus button, add our third color. Next, we, let's go ahead and uh, make this row full width. So we're going to come over here to design, click on sizing, make this row full width, make sure that is set to yes. And then for the gutter width, we're going to set this to one like that. Right, so let's add a custom margin of minus 60. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and add my minus 60 here. Next, we're gonna come over here to column one padding and add 50. And we're gonna do the same for column two and column three. Now it's time to add our first text module. So I'm gonna save this for now. And then I'm gonna click this plus button, search for my text module. I'm gonna select it, come over here to background, click my plus button. And I'm going to add my background color in here, like that, back to the text. So I'm going to paste my text in here, like that. Click on design. Right, so over here, I'm going to start off with my text. I'm going to make sure that this is set to black. The text size needs to be set to 12. My font needs to be Leto. And then my text line height needs to be set to 2.2. And then finally, this, uh, the text orientation needs to be set to centered. Next, let's add a border to this text module. So I'm going to click on border, click on use border. And here for the border width, we're going to set this to 17. And the color is fine at white. So just make sure that that is set to white. And border style needs to be solid. 
Next, we're gonna come over here to sizing and set this to 75% and centered. So you just have to make sure that uh, when you add 75, it defaults to pixels. So you have to go in manually and add the percent and then th that corrects it. Now it's time to uh, add our margins. So we're gonna come over here to spacing. So for our margin top, we're gonna add minus 300. So now we can see that this has now moved on into our full width image. And then here, I'm just gonna adjust the tablet and the phone and just make sure that this is set to zero for the tablet and zero for the phone. Okay, so back here to our desktop. Let's just add our minus 300 one more time. And then finally, we're gonna come over here to our custom padding and add 50 to the top, right, bottom, and left. So now we've just given this enough breathing space in here, which is good. Let's go ahead now and save. And we need the exact same text module for the next two columns. So what we're gonna do is we're going to clone these. So all we have to do now is to come over here to our second one, click on the gear icon, click on design, spacing. And here we're gonna add minus 220, like that. So now it's slightly lower, which is the exact effect that we need. I'm gonna save this, come over here to our third one. And for this, we're gonna add minus 140. So I'm gonna come over here to design, spacing, and add 140, like that. So pretty much this is our design. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and we're gonna preview our final design. So I'm gonna save, and these are our final designs. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what we've done today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.